Hi, welcome to module 8 of the Azure Data Factory Hands-On Lab. In this lab module, we'll be covering how to monitor your Azure Data Factory workload. Azure Data Factory provides visual monitoring of trigger runs, pipeline executions, and the state of your Azure integration runtimes. From Azure Data Factory's monitoring dashboard, we are able to see all of our pipeline runs and can also filter down to the in progress, succeeded, failed, and canceled pipeline runs. You'll get information such as when the pipeline run started, how it was triggered, the duration of the run, and the parameters that were used at runtime. You can even drill down into the pipeline and see the status of individual activities, which can be very useful for seeing which logic branches your pipeline executed. Before we get into an overview of the task in this lab module, let's discuss what you will need before you start. You'll need an active Azure subscription with rights to use and deploy Azure services. You'll need the Azure Data Factory we created in Lab Module 1. Ideally, you would have scheduled a pipeline as part of Lab Module 7 to be able to monitor it, but any executed pipelines via a trigger should be sufficient. In order to see the Azure SSIS integration runtime that is walked through in this lab, you will also need to have completed Lab Module 2. In this lab module, we'll walk through how to monitor the trigger event and its status. And finally, we'll show you how you can monitor your Azure integration runtimes, including workload information for your Azure SSIS integration runtime. At the end of this lab module, you should have a good understanding of the available tools for monitoring your Azure Data Factory pipeline and trigger runs. Combined with the previous module about scheduling your pipelines, you should start to be getting a good understanding of how Azure Data Factory provides operational capabilities for your data orchestration workflows. Our next module is our final lab module, Module 9. In that module, we'll start to tie everything together and explore the data that has been loaded into our Azure SQL Data Warehouse. This will serve as both data validation and data exploration. Hope to see you in Module 9. Thanks.